So how do you stay calm when you don't see eye to eye with someone, especially if it's someone close to you, like a parent or a sibling or someone you love? That's what I'm gonna talk about today. But first, I'm gonna talk about it through an example from Virgin River. I'm a big fan, I love the show, I've already binge watched it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk you through an interaction that happened season four, episode two, between Jack and his dad. But first, my name's Michelle Ferris and I'm a psychotherapist and I love helping people create relationships that work. So the first thing I wanna say is that this could have been an explosion in the making. This conversation between Jack and his dad could have ended really badly and I've seen it so many times in my practice. But there were things that Jack did especially and his dad, though his dad struggled, that I wanna highlight because Sometimes I think learning through example and stories can be a lot easier. So basically what happened was Jack and his dad never really saw eye to eye. They weren't connected. They had a, a strange relationship for a long time. And Jack's dad comes to town and he's really critical of Jack's choices because Jack having twins with someone he's not marrying. So his dad has a big problem with that. So they start this conversation and Jack's dad immediately launches into you're wasting your life, okay? Why didn't you go to school? You should have gone to college. And this is how a conversation gets derailed really quickly is when you start with a critical comment like that. So what Jack does is he actually just stays calm and listens and he says, I'm sorry you feel that way. I'm living the life I wanna live. And because he stayed calm and stayed with I messages, not you messages, which are all more about blame, his dad softened a bit. And that's the first thing I wanna highlight is that when you can stay calm and focus on your perception and not attack the other person for what they're saying, you can stay calm. And it also helped the dad not escalate further into more blame. Now, the next thing that happened is that the dad shared a negative assumption, something he's been holding on to for a long time. He said, I thought you were getting back at me by enlisting in the army. And this is super powerful because he was able to share a negative assumption and not make it about Jack, but make it about what he's been holding this whole time. And so he checks it out and Jack says, no, I never did it because of that. I enlisted in the army because I that was my dream. So right away, Jack's dad being able to share that negative assumption with Jack and Jack being able to hear that and, and clear that up was really, really important because that's another place where people get stuck is that they're reacting on a lot of the negative assumptions that, that are happening, but they never actually check them out. So that's the one thing Jack's dad did that was really positive. And honestly, I think that was the turning point because again, you see Jack's dad soften a bit because Jack didn't have any intention of getting back at him and that was in no way his intention. And because Jack was able to share that with a soft tone, not get defensive or angry, his dad was able to hear it. And that's another bridge. If we can stay calm when somebody else is accusatory or angry at us or blaming us, now I'm not saying that's easy, but if we can do that, it can get us over that hump because that's where one person may have the ability to do that better than the other. But because Jack was able to do that, his dad was able to hang in there and be heard. And the last part of the conversation that I wanna highlight is Jack telling his dad, I, I wish that you could accept that there's more than one way to live a life. And his dad could hear that. And his dad said, I hear you. And Jack said, well, do you really, do you really understand what I'm telling you? And he said, I'm trying. And to me, that's a win because this is a great example of people not being on the same page, it being really difficult to communicate with a parent, especially when there's lots of expectations and, and a history behind them. But they were able to work it out and come to some new beginning. And that's why I thought this was such a great teaching moment that I wanted to share with you guys. And I don't know if you're a fan of Virgin River. If you are, I wanna hear it in the comments. I love it, I think it's really fun. And I know this is a short video this week, but I really wanna hear from you what part of Jack 
or his dad's behavior could you relate to? All right, thanks so much. Bye.